after the fried tomatoes and turkey stew i made some time ago some of you requested that i show you how i make my one pot tomato stew so here we are and you guys this one came out so tasty and absolutely delicious like look at that color it was so amazing and it takes less than 30 minutes to put together like it was so easy to make so i hope you guys enjoy and like this video subscribe to my channel as well and let's start cooking Now for this recipe we are going to be using only tomato puree, no tomato paste unlike what we did with the other video, the other tomato stew. And over here I've got my ginger, garlic, um, habanero pepper and half of um, red onion, purple onion, whatever you choose to call it. <laughs> and I'm going to be using some thyme as always, some rosemary curry powder, ground nutmeg, some vegetable oil, I'm going to be using maize oil, you can use any vegetable oil of your choice, we are going to be adding some salt of course, some paprika powder and some seasoning cubes. Now for the protein I'm going to be using chicken and mackerel, you can use any protein of your choice, you can use turkey, in fact any protein of your choice okay now in a food processor or in a blender we are going to add in the ginger the garlic the scotch bonnet which is habanero pepper and the onion as well and we are going to be blending all of this together So here is the consistency I always go for. You can either choose to blend yours to be very smooth or roughly blended just like mine. Now in a clean pot, I just washed this pot so I still have some liquid in it and I'm going to let it dry up and then I'm going to be adding the, the um, vegetable oil and like I said earlier, I'm going to be using maize oil. This is always always my favorite oil for frying for cooking and all so just add a very reasonable amount of the oil you can add add enough oil after cooking the stew you can choose to drain out some of the excess oil okay but you need enough oil not really a lot but enough <laughs> and then once the oil heats up we are going to add in the blended peppers ginger garlic onion like look at that color oh my goodness <laughs> and then i just added some rosemary and right now i'm adding some of the thyme i'm just eyeballing okay i don't use measurement to cook i'm sorry about that i can't tell you the measurements i'm just eyeballing if you have been uh, sorry if you have been following my cooking videos i'm sure you already know this i don't measure all the time but some recipes definitely calls for measurement but this one i i don't measure okay just <laughs> just eyeball or you can measure i don't know do whatever works for you okay so i just added the chicken and i'm going to give this a stir i'm going to fry this or i'm going to cook fry this for 10 minutes by the way i just added the um the seasoning cubes and this process is going to intensify the the flavor and the taste of this chicken like try it out i used to just you know throw in the chicken pour in the tomato the oil everything all at once cover and cook but since i came up with this process i realized that the taste is not the same like the taste of the chicken 
always comes out so yummy and so tasty so you need to go through this process but if you don't want any frying whatsoever you can go ahead and add in everything and just cover the pot okay now so after 10 minutes i went in ahead to add all of my remaining spices which is the curry powder the nutmeg the mm, paprika mix everything together and then i'm going to be adding the mackerel at this point i didn't want to cook fry the mackerel just like i did with the chicken reason being that i don't want the fish to scatter in the pot but if you want you can do it just like what i did with the chicken So right now I'm going to be adding the remaining half of the onion. This is one whole onion and so I divided it into two, used one to process the peppers and the ginger and then I sliced the remaining half. So I just added that now and I added some salt as well, tasted it and everything was tasting super delicious, like so tasty already and the stew is not even done. Oh. <laughs> but it was so tasty you guys i'm so excited to share this recipe with you guys and hoping that you give it a try and give me your feedback i am absolutely sure that you're going to love it so after adding everything i covered the pot and let it cook for another 15 minutes and after 15 minutes this is what our stew is looking like you guys i don't know how to explain how tasty this stew came out so just to garnish it and to give it a little bit of color and i'm going to be you know slicing in some fresh spinach you can add some fresh um, basil leaf curry leaf um, any leaf of your choice just to give it a pop of color and you know that delicious look you know that's what i was going for <laughs> you don't really have to add any type of vegetable if you don't want to but just give it a try who knows you might actually like it <laughs> i i i do this sometimes i don't always like to add vegetables but sometimes i do just like today i decided to add so you guys this is the stew looking absolutely delicious so tasty so yummy and like i said and like i have been saying in this video please give it a try okay you might even like it more than the first one and you can try the both of them and tell me the one you prefer most so as you can see here i'm pairing mine with some boiled white rice you can eat it with boiled yam boiled plantain anything even pasta spaghetti it can go with anything okay thank you so much for watching this video i truly appreciate your love and support please don't forget to like this video subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one take care bye